Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Tickle Me Comedy Club podcast. I'm Isaac Israel, and we have Splash Plus owner Jenny Lee Mitchell here with us tonight. We're being sponsored this evening by the In Color Studios here in Las Vegas, a terrific uh, video production company that works with all the best acts in Hollywood and Las Vegas. Uh, we're also sponsored by the Blue Zone Comedy Tour. Uh, it's a, it's a tour that goes around the country with uh, uh, comedians that are living with uh, physical disabilities. And so we are so glad that you are here with us uh, tonight again. Um, and I'm so excited about our, uh, our guest, uh, Jenny Lee Mitchell. Uh, she is a woman-owned, uh, uh, minority-owned business here in Las Vegas. Uh, one, one, one of the truly terrific uh, entrepreneurs here in Las Vegas with her new company, uh, a splash plus. Thank you for having, having us sit on here today. Um, and it's, it's truly an honor. So, um, Jenny, I, you know, I want to I wanna talk a little bit about Jenny's background. Um, she's, it, it seems like she's always been an entrepreneur. Um, can you, I mean, so Jenny is not originally from the United States. Uh, she's from uh, Korea. And uh, so, can you tell us, you know, how you came to Las Vegas and sure. like, your journey? Yeah, I was born in South Korea, Seoul, Korea. Uh, I moved here when I was 15, and ever since, you know, I, I went to, I, I did my formal education in the United States. I worked here since then. I met my, you know, my husband here, you know, and since then, you know, uh, was my second home. So, um, so um, how is it that you decided to start a hand sanitizer company um, during this time? Yeah, sure, absolutely. And um, you know, nobody expected this pandemic to happen this year, right? It was quite a surprise, it was a very sad surprise. And what happened was that, um, you know, I, I hear it all the time that everybody was looking for a hand sanitizer, you know, they yeah, for the definitely. For their kids or their work or whatever yeah. they need. I remember back in March, I, like I couldn't, I didn't have any, I couldn't buy any, like for weeks. Yeah, uh -huh. absolutely. And uh -huh. you know, I thought that it was just so ridiculous that you know there's such a shortage that we're, mm -hmm. we're experiencing, and that's something that you know became a necessity. You, know, you have to protect yourself from germs or the viruses or what's going on out there. So. Um, and it wasn't just it didn't just become a necessity for people, right? It became a necessity seems like for businesses. Correct, yeah. And it, it was just crazy time. People mm -hmm. were, you know, uh, pushing each other to grab the last uh, bottle of hand sanitizer. And, mm -hmm. and not to mention that the price was just ridiculous. Skyrocketing, yeah. Right? And yeah. I've seen that, you know, small little bottle at the time during March, yeah. April, yeah. 50 milliliter, yeah. $25, $30. And, you know, even that, it's just everybody's like, I'll pay $40. And there's yeah. this kind of like auction. Do we need a down payment on the house? No, <laughs> let's just get some hand sanitizer. Okay. Yeah, okay. so hand sanitizer became kind of like hot commodities, right? Mm -hmm. Because of that reason. But uh, the reason uh, why, so just back to your yeah. original question. So mm -hmm. I thought that was just absolutely crazy. You know, yeah. We okay. shouldn't um, experience such a shortage. And mm -hmm. We should have, as a people, you know, as people, and mm -hmm. you know, I was thinking about like my family and friends at the time. You know, they should be able to have plenty of um, hand sanitizers or like, sanitizing wipes or etc. to protect themselves, you know, sanitize it and just be, feel good, you know, that they're, they're safe, right? Okay. So, um, Splash Plus controls three uh, large uh, manufacturers or factories in South Korea that are okay. under very strict guidelines of, you know, FDA and, you know, mm -hmm. other uh, CDCs and things like that. So, I contacted Originally, I uh, created a small batch to donate and you know, help my friends and families. You know, some of my friends, they're pregnant, right? They, you know, they have to take care of their child. And yeah. they're like, oh, I can't go anywhere. I, I don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm just too scared. I yeah. was like, okay, so I can create a you know, product, you know, that's decent. And I would, you know, I would like to you know, give it to people. That was mm -hmm. how you know, I started. And then later on, yeah. you know, I just, I see this craziness, and I was like, hey, how come, you know, it's a major brand, right? Like, Corel, Jermax, you know, so how can, they cannot cover this, you know, there's obviously a huge yeah, like, disconnect, yeah. right? Right, when I go to Costco and I 
wait that long in that line, they better have some Purell for me in there, <laughs> but they did not have any Purell. <laughs> yeah, and everywhere it's just out for like five weeks, or we don't know. Yeah, it's it was ridiculous. One per person, uh -huh. you know, it's just, it's crazy. So people mm -hmm. are hoarding it, okay. obviously, and then they're reselling it online yeah. for five, ten times a good price. It's just... It's, it's ridiculous. What, like, yeah, I noticed that like, my uncle, my uncle had boxes of hand sanitizer. I asked if I could have some. And he's like, yeah, sure. And give me like three, three hands. <laughs> like, you give me three bottles. You have like boxes in your house. I mean, it's yeah, yeah it's ridiculous. So mm -hmm. I decided to do it the right way, right, and then helping the community. So, I, you know, the very beginning, I was thinking about Nevada, Las Vegas, specifically, right? Uh -huh. So, I'm gonna produce this superior product to circulate and gift it to, or help our community and give it to the people that. Needs this, right? Mm -hmm. So that's how I started, and then overnight it just took off. And you know, and I'm very wow. you know, we're fortunate, but um, mm -hmm. you know, and we wanted to do it the right way. Right? Instead, right. I don't want to. We talked about it before, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people they look at this and the hand sanitizer. If you tell them that, hey, um, I own a hand sanitizer, or, uh, the uh, company yeah. that distributes hand sanitizer. Manufacturing distribute hand sanitizer. So people are like, oh, this is kind of a one off situation. You're a short term opportunity. You know, you're going to yeah. circulate it, make yeah, a lot of money, and check out, is, right? Yeah, yeah. So, what's the deal with this thing, huh? Is this for real? Yeah. All right. No, we are, you know, we are a legitimate company. Mm -hmm. You know, we want to produce. So, something. wait, let me get this straight. Sure. Is this like FDA registered? Yes. Like o OTC, like yes. over the counter registered, all that stuff? Okay. So, all right. Typically, our production time, you know, for about a million bottles, is mm -hmm. just a day. You know, very, very quick. Wait, in a day, yeah. you can do a million bottles. Yes. So really, we have no way wow. of distributing. The uh -huh. Shortage? Why? Like we have a plenty of it. So okay. no problem. But we uh -huh. wanted to do it the right way, so we had to do all the steps. So we're one of the few companies, actually, mm -hmm. recently. So it's just a kind of behind the stories. You know, our containers got to Long Beach and uh -huh. we're clearing, right? Customs and we're the one with you that cleared like no problem and just a Oh yeah, no, 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 yeah, let's talk about no, I read about this. So so there was like a, there was like an FDA recall on hand sanitizer. Because right. I saw yeah, I've seen some like like a shady hand sanitizer out there. <laughs> like it's like, you know, you just put a label on there and you write hand sanitizer and here you go. It stinks, it smells bad, but it's gonna clean your hands, right? And it's really like, sad that Due to those inferior products, um, a lot of I, you know I heard some news, and I don't know you know how much of it is true, and you know how much of it was just kind of exaggerated. Yeah. But you know, some of the hand sanitizer contains methanol, you know, and okay. it's, it is very dangerous. You know, you can mm -hmm. lose your eyesight. It can cause blindness and you know cause death. And wait, wait, some of the wait, some of the hands have methanol. Yes. Yes, that's But it's not so it's not supposed to have methanol. No. So what happened is this so I'm sure that you Wait, what do you have then? What do you have in your hands? Ethanol. Oh, okay, that's enough. So, so it's the same thing as the drinks that you know you're drinking, vodka, uh -huh. wine, you know, you yeah. you know, drink a little, that's ethanol. That's ethanol, okay, that's cool. So when you um, so what happened is that those methanol uh -huh. uh, based or the uh, you know, they call it ethanol based, but mm -hmm. what happened is that methanol is actually mixed in with ethanol. So that's what it makes it dangerous. Uh -huh. And when you, um, basically when you distill it, right, you okay. have to separate the methanol first mm -hmm. before ethanol. Well, so you, okay. it, 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 it requires very strict control standard. Right, but okay. But obviously, you know, some of the products or the uh, you know, one-off situations, the right. products, they want, they produce these things to make quick money because shortage, I'm yeah, right. Crazy money in a short time period. I'm gonna uh -huh. check out. That's their goal. Yeah. So it's like I got a microbrewery, and uh, <laughs> now I do some hand sanitizer. You know, the Las Vegas uh, beer. Now we got uh, Las Vegas hand sanitizer. Uh, so okay, now okay. So th now, now does your product label does it say methanol on it or no? No, no, it's ethanol. Okay, methanol, so it's a, no, okay. right. No, so no, so no, it no. does not say methanol. So if we look at a label. Right of these other hand sanitizers that are out there, and uh, we see methanol on it. No, no, stay no. away. You, no, no, absolutely. Methanol is not. They will show ethanol. Oh, they'll show but ethanol. What I'm saying is that 
when they do the obviously the processing, the processing, they didn't do it. Correctly. They're not doing the proper so separation correct. of the so methanol and methanol. methanol. Is uh, mixed into into the hand sanitizer, and what happened is that you use it mm -hmm. and then you touch your eyes or you know things. That you but how do people cause. know? How will people know? Well, actually, it caused some death, and like Jeez. so that's actually Jeez. reported. So oh, <laughs> God. it's really sad. It really is really sad. And what happened <laughs> is that the FDA is now that. They're enforcing stricter guidelines. So if you go to FDA.gov, you'll be able to see those temporary uh, regulations in place on top of you know. Oh my God! Right? How messed so, up is that? It's like they're using hand sanitizer, right? They're like, oh man, I got something in my yeah. eye. Bam! Blank. Didn't get like you can't even see no more. What the hell? Right? You know, it's like, oh, I spilled some hand hand sanitizer in my food. Dead. Right? Dead on the spot. Heart attack. Right, yeah. No more. It's, it's What's messed up? Okay. So that's the and so the, that's why there's the recall. That's why it's been and big news. The, okay. You know, I understand that you know there's a huge shortage, and a mm -hmm. lot of people they're like, we need it, we need it, we need it. Yeah. So these companies, you know, um, retailers, right? For uh -huh. example, I, I don't want to obviously name it, but a yeah. huge box store with retailers, they need it, right? Because okay. Because people want it, they don't have it, so they can't uh -huh. sell it to the yeah. consumers, right? So mm -hmm. they started to kind of you know intake those brands. Those brands. Some of the brands oh. are very yeah, I got my brother-in-law. He's got a hand sanitizing business now. Let's uh, let's give him a ten million dollar contract. Okay, uh, so we'll hook it up. Um, so if yeah. you go on to FDA.gov, you'll be able to see sixty plus um, labels. Some of them are very very well known labels, unfortunately, mm -hmm. and you'll be able to see the FDA recall list, and you'll be able to protect yourself. No way. So wait, is it on the website? The FDA. Correct. Yeah. So check it out. Go check so that out. Go check it out. Yeah. Check your label mm -hmm. if it's. The same brand, you know what? Throw it away. Stay away. Stay very away. Yeah. Um, so, okay. So I uh, walk into uh, Costco. I walk into Target. I want to buy hand sanitizer. How do I choose one? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, oh. I, I get those questions. All the time. Yeah. Like, okay. Well, what's the What's the good sanitizer? Then, right. right? So there are a couple of things. I mean, obviously, first thing first, you know, go on to a website, FDA.gov. You know, since it's you know they're actively enforcing these, so those uh, products shouldn't be in the market. But if you do have one, throw it away. If you do see one, don't buy it. You know, um, do your, <laughs> do your <laughs> research, and then, you know that's the first step, right? Okay. The second step will be you know a lot of you know people they discuss right. Oh, this one has eighty five percent. This one has like sixty percent. Yeah, yeah. Alcohol, I'm like, oh, yeah, look at the ninety nine point nine 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 percent alcohol. Like, you know what? I want something with a hundred percent alcohol. Where is that? You know? I so, 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 like, yeah. Well, what's the difference? So, um, I don't know if anybody saw the uh, article uh, published mm -hmm. by Matthew Stewart mm -hmm. recently, but ninety nine percent alcohol is not doing a better job than you know, the sixty or seventy percent alcohol. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you why. Because the alcohol pill form is very volatile. It means that when you put it on your hands. It Evaporates uh, quickly. Right away. So yeah. you have to have enough of water in there to hold it, not just evaporate right right away. So, yeah. Um, I, I feel like I get ripped off. <laughs> I'm doing this, boom, it's gone. What the hell is that? Yeah. So typically, 60 to 70 percent works the best because okay. you know, it'll stay on your hand mm -hmm. and it'll penetrate into a membrane and yeah. it actually um, you know kills the germs or the viruses. You want to make sure that your hand sanitizer is working right so it doesn't yeah. really matter numbers means nothing you have to properly use it and properly mm -hmm. choose it to protect yourself but in hospitals and stuff in medical places don't they have a certain percentage that they need to have yeah cdc guidelines you can see it on the cdc website so mm -hmm. there are two types of um you know obviously alcohols out there mm -hmm. you, you'll see the label and then some says ethanol mm -hmm. you know which is or alcohol mm -hmm. it's the ethanol and some you'll see the uh isopropyl and then that's also, you know, form of a uh, alcohol. Just difference is they they are derived from a different source. So okay. isopropyl uh -huh. is coming or, or derived from the uh, petroleum. Uh, from oil. Correct. <laughs> yeah, or the uh, natural gases or okay. the uh, fossil fuel. Now is that good or bad? Well, it's just a it's, it's just a one form, right? A okay. Lot of medical field or the uh, even even any of the you know artificial product that. that so it's just a preference, right? We use alcohol, like pure ethanol, mm -hmm. because 
you know, it's, yeah, it's more attractive in my personal opinion. It's, yeah. Again, it's, it's all up yeah. to, you know, everyone's preference. Yeah, but, you're not killing baby seals <laughs> with the isopropyl. So that's yeah. that's the petroleum. Uh -huh. And the ethanol is derived from the wheat and uh -huh. the, um, or the corn, you know, it's, it's a fermented sugar, basically. Uh -huh. So that, you know, it's just a different, you know, uh, the okay. way you, you get it. It's so yeah. you will see both of all. So it's like ethanol vegan? Like, can, is it vegan? Like, can we, like, if I'm having like yeah. my couscous, can I have it? Can I use that hand? So ethanol, check, you check. have a cup of ethanol, you uh -huh. can drink it. That's the same thing as it, it's in the beer. That's oh, alcohol. Yeah, okay. exactly. Cool. You can drink cool. it. But yeah. you cannot drink the hand sanitizer because uh -huh. it has additives, right? Yeah. So it's, it's, if it's a pure form, then you can drink it just like alcohol. Trump said we should put it in our body and stuff and make it out. Like, you know, but uh -huh. you know, I don't recommend you go home and say, oh, the ethanol is Jenny told me that yeah. ethanol is, you know, you can drink it and drink your hand sanitizer. It's very bad. Yeah, no drinking <laughs> of the hand sanitizer, okay. No drinking of it. All right. Yeah, so, uh -huh. but, okay, back to that. So yeah. you'll see the two different labels or two different ingredients. It's, it's totally fine. But the guidelines are a little bit different, right? See these two websites, you'll be able to see it. So um, isopropyl uh, uh -huh. is a one guideline and then ethanol is like another. Right. Uh -huh. So isopropyl, usually you want to see at eighty percent, and yeah. then, or actually, sorry, excuse me, seventy percent. Uh -huh. Ethanol on the CDC website, I believe, is sixty percent. So okay, and um, you know, typically sixty to seventy percent mm -hmm. is is the best range because it gets also more alcohol. Again, we covered it that mm -hmm. it's not the you know the, not the most efficient way to kill germs. Not only that, but also Dries out your skin, so. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, speaking of the most efficient way of killing germs, how do we properly avoid, you know, germs and bacteria, and how do we properly, you know, put on the hand sanitizer? Sure. I mean, the best way is wash your hands. Obviously, okay. If you have a running water and soap, it's just crazy. <laughs> you use a hand sanitizer. You don't wash your hands. You have to wash your hands. Yeah. What's up with you people who are <laughs> washing your hands? You yeah, get away I, with it. What's up with that? I've seen people that are like. Uh -huh. Yeah, they pick a baby, you know, just start eating with their hands. Like, so have you know? water, running water, soap, wash your hands at least 20 seconds, right? That's the best okay. Thing. But at least if 20 you're seconds. not able to wash your hands, you know, if you're out, mm -hmm. you know, after a sport or yeah, whatever, yeah. Maybe, you know, mm -hmm. you're in the car, whatever, then um, you want to properly sanitize your hands. You can't just, I've seen people just like going like this and but that's it. Mm -hmm. That's not that's not the way to wash your hands. So why okay. don't you sanitize your hands that way, mm -hmm. right? You you have to make sure you cover all surfaces and you know think about the surgeons, right? Mm -hmm. Before the surgery they sanitize it thoroughly up till the elbow, right? So any of the exposed areas that you touch, you know, right now on the right here. Right. So you yeah. have to make sure so uh -huh. don't do it out, right? Oh cool. Yeah. So then try some this hand sanitizer. Woo! <laughs> So oh, it hasn't evaporated sure, yet. Yeah, so you want to make sure mm -hmm. what are we doing? you do it, and okay. then your you know, fingertips on the side. Fingertips. fingertips, okay. And then you know, man, uh, you know, and manicure, and shoot. Uh, right. And then make sure that, uh -huh. you know, up to, I usually have to do it at the elbow, you know, because it evaporates yeah. pretty, pretty quickly. Yeah. But, yeah. you know, you don't have to. That's it's just my preference. But you, want to, you want to right. make sure to do it at least up to the elbow. Up, up to the, uh, you know, the wrist area. Just, mm -hmm. you know, any, any areas that that's exposed and, you know, mm -hmm. you touch stuff, you know, and yeah. you want to do it that way. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Did not know that. Did not know that. So, uh, so who, I mean, can, like, can people, like, buy it or are you only targeting, like, institutions or, or medical facilities? Like, like, uh, who are you targeting? We are actually in, you know, national uh, mm -hmm. council chains and uh, national uh, restaurant chains. But, you know, we do provide our products to the consumers as well. So, mm -hmm. I mean, again, back to, you know. Wait, do you have a website? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What is it? It's a splashplus.us. Splashplus.us. Okay, cool. And we, we like, so actual, like, regular consumers who watch this, they can actually buy it on your website. Sure, absolutely. That's terrific. So That's nobody terrific. should okay. look for the hand sanitizers or be exposed to smelly, inferior products. You know, we have enough. Uh -huh. We should have enough. Okay. And you know, that's, that's our, uh, our goal, right? Mm -hmm. To be able to provide 
the uh, best product for Excellent. the uh, or with the best price, you know, mm -hmm. to the consumers or the uh, businesses. Okay, and like, how long does it take to deliver and all that stuff? It really depends. We even deliver. Um, we have doctors' offices um, that we provide sanitizers to in Hawaii as well. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, typically, I mean, we, we should be new at the UPS. Mm -hmm. um, for the delivery for, I mean, consumers, but the businesses, you know, it's quite, you know, just never run out. So if okay. you're within the local, you know, it's free delivery and we deliver right away the same day. So let's say you have restaurants, mm -hmm. you know, you run out, you, you need you know, three bottles, you know, mm -hmm. um, keep our sales team a call, you know, if it's the last minute notice, we'll make it, mm -hmm. make sure, because our focus is in our community, again, you know, Nevada and Las Vegas area. Mm -hmm. so we and have we can find that on the website. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we will, um, Okay. Okay. And um, so I noticed that this is a gel. Um, like other places have a foam, they have a spray. Like, do you offer that or is it only gel? Yeah, absolutely. We have all the variations. If you have, you know, a lot of medical, you know, the urgent cares or the hospitals, they mm -hmm. like no touch uh, type of dispensers, right? Okay. Some of them are foams, some of them are gels, some of them are. Right, liquid. We have all of them. Uh, okay. Those can be replaced. So, so um, you know, you, you know, it depends on the dis dispensers, but mm -hmm. we do have um, all of the variations. If it's a refill, um, we even offer refill services because you're mm -hmm. really busy. They want to, you know, run out. They want to think about it. They should. They're the hospital. They think about other, you know, mm -hmm. more important things to do. Just leave it to us, and we can, you know, we can make sure to go there and fill it up every day. Mm -hmm. For you or for the other businesses, and um, it's it. Simple. Mm -hmm. We do have everything. Oh, that's great. That's great. So um, let's say you know I, I uh, work at a doctor's office, or I work at a hospital, or I work at a casino, and I want you know I want my office to have it. What's the best way to reach out? So we have a sales team, um, mm -hmm. you know, specifically designated for uh, for business. Okay. The best way is that you go on a website, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a phone number or the uh, email. It says you can you know, shoot us an email. They'll reach out to you know. Mm -hmm. Teams are really prompt. You know, okay. Again, you know, back to the original you know goal. So we want to be prompt to your door and to your businesses. You know, no shortage. That's okay. And shortage. Wow, that's so, terrific. So, so what is it like? Uh, I noticed that there's a email there like sales at splashplus.us. Is that okay? For people yeah, to reach out to. Sure, absolutely. I mean, any, any really info, sales, anything is, yeah, with the team. Okay. Um, so, like, I've noticed, like, uh, Germex and, and Purell, they're not around as, you know, it's, do you know why, why that is? Like, why, why there's a shortage? Like, yeah. Why is there a shortage? So, um, again, I'm not saying that that's bad or good. It just uh -huh. is what it is. A lot of major brands that are uh -huh. manufactured in, in China. And okay. due to the, uh, you know, obviously, you know, not to go into too detail, there's mm -hmm. a tariff situation, there's attentions and things like that, there were a lot of pull-ups. So that even uh, if they're producing it, they cannot on. be in here in time. Or there's added regulations with the FDA, yeah. so they have to, More you know, yeah. yes, they have to either waste your alcohol content or they have to do other, mm -hmm. you know, things to, you know, properly uh, circulate in yeah. the market. So those are the things. And, you know, really before this pandemic, if you think about it, hand sanitizer, really two, two brand, I mean, or one brand, you know, everybody thinks of Purell, yeah. right? So, and the Purell was always there. Right, is when you go to the store, mm -hmm. you know, there's no shortage. You go yeah. there and buy one bottle. So, mm -hmm. you know, no one was really thinking about the, yeah. this. The tariffs, right? the, that if there would be a shortage or, yeah. Right. Uh -huh. Nobody expected this pandemic. Yeah, the, the, like, like the, the local governments and the federal government to have guidelines on what they need to do. And one of them being, you got to have hand sanitizer, right? So, they didn't really have enough competitions. They dominated the market. Yeah. And we didn't have a shortage because nobody really needed to Yeah. There's a lot of dirty people out there. They're like, <laughs> like who wants a so, hand sanitizer? We got soap and water. Yeah. yeah. So our goal uh -huh. is to be the proper you know competitor. Mm -hmm. 
competitor to those with major regret. I mean, Splash Plus has been around a very short time compared to Purell or Germax, but um, you know, would have been you know, would been the or would became the you know leading um hand mm -hmm. sanitizer in the market in a very short time period. I'm very fortunate and you know, we you know Splash Plus team, we're all thankful and you know, that's great. But you know, at mm -hmm. the same time we work really, really, really hard mm -hmm. you know, to make sure that you know somebody's mom, somebody's grandma, somebody's daughter, mm -hmm. son will be using it. Young kids to older people, so you want to make sure that we remain clean and honest. Okay, cool. Um, so, is there like I didn't I didn't check, but is there like any kind of odor to this? Because I know we're going into hospital, so make sure. Yeah. I mean, that's another thing. A lot of people are like, "Oh, hands in the it smells nice, it sparkles." But at the end of the day, what's the purpose of the product? Right? Kill germs. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You want to protect uh -huh. yourself. So yeah, you don't want to smell like potpourri. Like, what the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So okay. yeah, there's no odor. It's odor free. Uh, very clean product. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Is there anything else you want to share with the uh, audience? No, I think uh, this is it. Yeah. Great. Um, just so excited that you're here, and I'm so glad. Um, so thank you, uh, Jenny, for coming out and educating our audience on hand sanitizer and how to be clean, especially when you come to our <laughs> comedy shows. So yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me here. Great.